Central Arkansas, and will reopen a facility that had been closed when the West Bend Company vacated the facility some time ago. One of the important initiatives of our administration has been to try to reopen plants which have been closed, try to restore to economic health and viability communities that have been affected by plant closings. Yesterday we talked about the Dermont facility. Today I think we are announcing a company which has uh, significant potential for growth in Arkansas and for becoming a partner with us in our attempts to improve the economy of our state. This is a particularly happy announcement for me to have some role in making because I received a, a note from David Harrington when I was at the Governor's Conference in Nashville that uh, we had been very hopeful that we might be able to uh, win the competition, which was quite intense for this facility, but that they were about to give up hope and ask if I would call Mr. Holman, so I did call him. And uh, I was, frankly, uh, pretty discouraged after I got off the phone with him because he's pretty honest and pretty blunt. And I said, well, look, don't cross us off the list. Give us one more chance. We can do whatever everybody else can do a little bit better. And uh, it has a, the story has a good ending because they're here today to announce their commitment to Sheridan and their involvement with our state. Uh, there are several specific things which our state has uh, been able to do for and with them because of the programs of our administration. I think I should let Mr. Harrington talk about that and then uh, turn it over to Mr. Holmes for any remarks that he might want to make. David. What I would really like to do before uh, Mr. Holmes makes any comments is introduce some of the folks that have so, played such an important role in this. Rick Pilkey, here on our left, is the one who sort of quarterbacked this position. And it's, they do not get the recognition that they sometimes deserve for the, for the work that they do. They're, they're escorts, they're researchers, they're salesmen, and they, they spend many, many hours, weekends, nights, to accomplish that. And I think he's done an excellent job. And the company that's come to us has praised him greatly in, in the efforts. And I think it's, we're proud as our counselors to have a staff like this and people like Rick in our group. Uh, Mr. Holgram has already been recognized and will speak just a minute. I would like to uh, recognize some of the local people. Judge Roy Baxley uh, has been very, very instrumental in coordinating the efforts uh, in the area. Uh, the youngest county judge in Arkansas, Mayor Dalton Walker. Mr. Bob Reeves from St. Regis uh, Paper, who is the uh, vice president of the industrial, as a matter of fact, the head of the Industrial Development Corporation, Mr. Larry Frisbee. President of the Grant County Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Jim Lancaster, President of the Industrial Development Corporation. And let me tell you something, I didn't witness this. But, you know, yesterday I had an opportunity to tell you some very personal, significant things that a mayor did in a particular community. This guy went down, and this is the level of dedication. So he even went down, and I hope I don't embarrass you. It rained the night before the building leaked, and he went down and swept it out. The night, he was down there midnight sweeping out that building. That's pride in your community and what you're trying to sell. And I think that's very significant. Mr. Johnny Morgan, who is a Ben Swanger and a representative that brings a lot of folks to Arkansas. We're grateful for that. He's from an industrial realty company, Ben Swanger Southern. And then Mr. Robert Halderman, who is the, one of the agents representing H.H. Robertson here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, are there others from? Okay. Representative Easley from uh, the area has been very instrumental in helping us coordinating and solve some of the little technical problems, and we appreciate that very much. So basically, the only comments I'm going to make as a staff person, I think this is another occasion where the governor's personality and, and dedication to the economic growth of the state of Arkansas has helped us to land a plan. And at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Bob Holden to make some comments. Thank you, Dave. And thank you both, Governor Clinton, Mr. Harrington, for those very, very kind remarks. The H.A. Robertson Company is a worldwide construction and manufacturing company of metal and glass wall products and cellular steel floors in high-rise buildings. I'd like to talk more about the division that I have in Connorsville, Indiana which is uh, the one, uh, that is the division that is locating a manufacturing facility here in Arkansas. 
and uh, we're very, very happy uh, to uh, be here. And uh, I can see now the entire team that they've assembled, and I can see why they were successful. Uh, the governor uh, talked about his telephone call to me, and maybe I could add a little bit more to that uh, story, because we had our end of it, which he could not see. And that is, uh, uh, less than four months ago, I had to make the business decision to relocate some of our manufacturing operations, install some new, uh, highly uh, efficient equipment that we were importing from overseas. And we were going to put it into an Indiana plant. And then we had to make the decision to find another location. So uh, from not being an expert, I traveled with a team for the Robertson Company from North Carolina, South Carolina, Mississippi, Tennessee. We had people going into all of the uh, Sun Belt states. And uh, this uh, made us experts. And of course, we got to Arkansas. And I want to say that most states have very, very competent groups. And I, I think this team back here knows that the other states are very, very competitive in looking for new industry. However, uh, it came down to a financial package and the size of building and things of that nature that we had, I had made a decision, we were going into South Carolina. And the day I was actually in my office drafting a, an offer for a piece of property in South Carolina, and Governor, Governor Clinton called me. And we had a very short conversation, and she said I was blunt, I, I thought I was just being direct, and saying, saying the facts, and uh, uh, he responded and said, we'll see if we can do something about it. And uh, I had not met the governor before, so uh, I didn't really know it was going to happen. However, I got some other phone calls then from Arkansas. And uh, so I finished my proposal for that piece of property, signed it, and I said, don't mail it. I'm going to Arkansas. And I guess that's when Mr. Harrington and his team took over, and uh, Rick Pil Pilkington, and the rest of the people that you just met, and it was, uh, uh, it, was uh, it was that final showdown and action that brought us into Arkansas, and we were very, very happy to be here. Bob, did you mention the number of jobs? On the uh, startup of this facility, you'll be installing equipment uh, for the balance of this year and the last quarter and we are uh, planning to start production in the first quarter of next year. And the initial uh, equipment we're putting in will require 50 to 60 people to man that. Uh, I will anticipate maybe another question. And of course, if we are successful in doing that, our company manufactures many different places in, in the country. And if we are successful, uh, we could see uh, doubling that uh, certainly in the next two years, and uh, then it's up to uh, our company, it's up to our good friends in Arkansas to uh, see if we expand any further than that. What's the annual payroll? I'd like to talk about people, uh, our business. Money is something you arrange, equipment is something you arrange, and uh, people is really our business, and our success is going to be because of the people. And I think that kind of sizes our operation by talking about the people. Most of this be labor skills? Uh, yes. Sheet metal, rope farming, uh, considerable uh, skill required. I should also say that one of the things which influenced the final decision after the phone call and in part of the meetings was that our commitment to seek and obtain an enterprise zone designation for this site. As you know, uh, in 1983, in the legislative session, I presented to the legislature and the legislature adopted a uh, bill to provide for special uh, tax credits for uh, new employees and tax relief from sales and use tax for construction in high unemployment areas of the state that met certain criteria. And we find that this site does, and uh, that's one of the things that we committed to do, and one of the things that we will do, to make sure that we show our good faith in seeking to be a permanent facility. And it just proves, I think, 
the point that I made at the time, which is something like this can make a difference in Arkansas competition with other states in terms of whether we we get the business. Mr. Homer was he was very blunt when he said, look, you know, that there I can just go this other place for less money because I don't need this much space right now. And so I asked him if he would give us another chance, and that's one of the things that came out of the negotiations, and I really appreciate the fact that you did give us another chance. I'm very happy you were persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> you may cause me to give some other hearings. <laughs> Thank you.